the famous equation equals mc squared. There's little number two, the squared. Mm -hmm. And the person who came up with that idea, not the full equation, but the, the squaring being important in physics, mm -hmm. I saw in a little footnote somewhere, she was an obscure French thinker from the 1700s. And I thought, how did a woman from 200 years before Einstein come yeah. up with something that this great genius would use? So in one book, I, I managed to have like a few pages on her. In my first book on Einstein, mm. I thought, this is so good. I have to make an entire uh, book about it. So I wrote a book called Passion of Minds, which is all about her. And there was a man who was a bit of a writer who she taught most of what he knew in philosophy and in bed. His name was Voltaire. <laughs> uh, Voltaire was quick to say that she was the greater part of the uh, partnership. Mm. Uh, you know the story about Rogers and Hammerstein. Yeah. Uh, Rogers was asked, who was the, the greater part of their partnership? And he said, in my case, it was guilt by association. <laughs> <laughs> so Voltaire was, uh, at one point, um, they were both trying to, for a competition set up by the, the equivalent of the, of the French Royal Society, uh, the Academy of Sciences in Paris. And the, one summer, Voltaire was trying to do some work on the conservation of energy from the chateau that he and Madame Châtelet uh, shared in uh, northeastern France. And he was working really hard and not getting anywhere. And he just noticed that uh, Madame Emily was looked quite tired during the day. The reason she was tired is she was staying up all night doing her own experiments. And uh, uh, she submitted it anonymously and did much better than him. Um, <laughs> uh, Voltaire had the, you know, the typical grace of most, most men, you know, with when your ego is threatened by a woman who's uh, much more attractive than you and much smarter than you and more ebullient, there's only one thing to do. Insult her, have an affair with somebody else and dump her, which is what Voltaire tried to do. One of the stupidest things in his life. She was a, she was a lovely woman. Um, she ended up uh, still doing her scientific research. At one point, she came this close to discovering infrared radiation. Mm -hmm. And she even gave a hint about it in some papers in the early 1700s. This is 100 years before Herschel got uh, closer with that in the 1800s. Um, could you imagine if in, on the Chateau in uh, northeastern France, they had, uh, this is very close to understanding photography also. Mm -hmm. She was this close to doing it. And unfortunately, as we know, uh, around the world, there's often people with good uh, inventions but you need a whole uh, machine to turn the invention into reality. You need other people, you need production engineers, you need finance. Mm -hmm. And in that beautiful chateau that she and Voltaire were at, they didn't have enough uh, equipment for that. It's a lovely story. I remember once reading in the uh, Tatler magazine in England that the, the actress Anne Hathaway was uh, reading the book and said, wow, this is a great story. It should be made into a film. I, I'm open to that someday. 